beautiful wire bonsai tray with beads. I chose the amethyst, the light crystal, natural rock I purchased at Michael's. You can get that anywhere or use any base you'd like. Gorilla click, yeah, Gorilla clear grip glue, flat nose pliers, two strand sets of color gallery. And this, I have no clue what color it is, but I will find out. 30 strands, 24 gauge, rose gold wire. And a bowl to put your beads in. All right, first thing you'll do, grab your wire. Bend it slightly. I'm gonna put two beads and one of the spacers in the middle. And then we'll start to twist it up. Okay. Meet those right there in the middle. Ends together. Pinch it right in the center and gently pull up and twist it. And, and set it aside. I hope you've enjoyed the previous videos I have put up. If you have any questions or comments, please always feel free to email me or leave a comment or message and I always get back to everyone usually within a day that didn't take any time at all I have all 30 of them done gorgeous now it's time to start making our branches we're going to grab let's do five to spread each wire apart and separate it between your index finger. Do the same with all of them. You'll have them like that, and you're going to hold the rest of the wire with your thumb and the rest of your fingers, and as you pull up on the beads and twist, you'll just gently let go of the wire. And we'll set that aside. Grab five more. Sorry about the background noise. I'm outside filming this because it's just too nice of a day to sit in the house. Be sure to watch the other wire bonsai tree videos that I have in the playlist there's so many to choose from different styles different levels but in my opinion anyone can make them and you can always do variations of beads the rocks you set them on the wire color you choose whatever you prefer and please be sure to always send me photographs of your completed trees. I would love to see them. Okay, got all of them. And we're going to gently pull up. I'm going to do another one with five. 
and I'm going to continue on to shorten the length of this video and I will see you back here to form the tree. Gonna grab it right there at the base and we're going to twist. Two. Ready. Then we're going to incorporate the threes with it. One of those, add it right there, and grab another one. right there and we're going to twist again and it is going to get tough I will not lie to you and two it's going to start to look like that Actually, what I think we're going to do is just go ahead and get these two and twist those together. Three turns should do it. We're going to add that one to here. And we're going to add the last one. Whew, that was tough. You see how that has that tiny little gap right there? Go ahead and twist that a couple more times so it's secure. Because that might happen from time to time. This is going to be really pretty. Doesn't look like it now, but it will be. Okay, next. We're going to go ahead and create this little root system and Got a lot of shorties here. That's okay. Gonna take off these extra long ones here that we don't need.
So there's our little root system. Now we're going to bend it up, make it look a little more organic to fit nicely on our amethyst rock. You're gonna to wanna to get your needle nose pliers and we're just gonna shape it up a little bit. And if one of the wires breaks off, don't get too upset about it. Curl that one like that. Step by step, baby. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we're done with that. Now let's get to the real nitty gritty. I wanna start designing this now. And we're gonna do it before we put it on the base. So, we're gonna do a nice, beautiful, elegant flow cascade. So, we're gonna start by bending that branch down a little bit. And we're gonna bend that one so I know what I'm gonna be doing with my top. And the big thick part here is going to get bent back just a little bit like that. Okay. And I'm going to push this forward. You can see kind of where I'm going with this. And then we're going to grab this one. this down and see how it's looking. Getting stuck on my towel here. I had to use a towel because my glass top was showing way too much glare. All right. Push you forward. I'm gonna push you forward like so and then bend up. And then you're gonna go up. And I think we're going to put you like that. We're going to leave you there. Yeah, that's going to be so pretty. Now. Put these up like that. And we could shape those after. See how I'm doing that? You can just like bend them up a little bit. Let me give you a little closer view. Because you don't want them sticking straight up. It doesn't look natural. You want to kind of make a flow going. And you want it to all be uniform. And I do believe that 30 would be just enough. Oh, see what this? Okay. When you find this, again, right there, that little separation with the wire, you don't want that. So what we're gonna do is fix that real quick by just giving it a few more turns. Oop, wrong way. And tightening it. Not too tight, because you don't wanna snap her off. We need that. There's another one. Just check over your whole tray. There's one right there. And we don't want that. So we're gonna take it and we're going to twist it just a couple times. Excellent. Okay, and back to our tray. Now if you want, I always find it easier to use the small end of your needle nose to shape it and just bend it the way you need because your fingers if you got fat fingers like me 
sometimes it's a little more difficult. And this is what I meant by the long. You don't want to keep it straight like that. It doesn't look right. There's no such thing as a perfectly straight, long branch. At least I've never seen one on a real tree. And just turn them and twist them. I think we are done designing that. Oh my goodness. Is that like crazy cool? I need your rubber bands. Okay, much better. Okay, now let's get these roots on here. I'm sorry, this is taking so long, but I want to be happy with this tree. Why wouldn't you? You're gonna take one of your rubber bands and you're gonna get that right there at the base. You're gonna pull it and twist. Hold it there at the center and wrap it around the other side where the base is. Depending on how light or how thick your band is, If the tree moves a little bit, you can always adjust it. Come on, get back in the middle. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna try and twist it one more time, if it works, and get it on this side. Come on, don't break. That was not easy. Okay. Now, let's get is that the green one on before it completely comes off.
be sure to get that glue right there at the base. Nice gob of it. If it gets on a rubber band, no worries. I'll show you how to get it off. Just a tad. Right? All right, people, I'm filming. Shush. should do it for the base now you want to get it right on the very tips where your roots are and do that for all of them and she's done let's get the rubber bands off